Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to discuss another method to make sure that your photos are perfectly sharp. In a previous video, I showed how to use the mapping component and change the capture speed to just one mile per hour, which slowed the drone down and allowed it to take sharp photos, even if the capture speed was slow. So, what's another method of doing that? There's a method that we have that's called inspection. To use inspection, you create the mission in the usual way, and then once the mission is to your satisfaction, you go up here to these three dots, and you click on that. And then you come down to Convert. When you press that, you'll get two options, and then you're going to pick the option on the right that says Inspection. There'll be a short pause while it analyzes the mission, and then you'll get this button that says Finish Conversion. There are some options, but for the most part, you won't need to change anything. Click Finish Conversion. It'll ask you where you want to copy the plan into. And the reason it asks for this is because when you convert to inspection, what it actually does is creates a copy of the original plan, but as an inspection mission. So click Continue. What you'll see now is that you get a new version of the mission that ends in hyphen inspection. The reason for that is the original mission is still there, so if you need to go back and change anything, you can go back to the original mission and change that. Now that we have an inspection mission, what you'll see is that you have this new type of plan. It looks very similar to the original, but you have these dots all along the way that show you where you have actions. So what advantages do we get when we convert something to inspection? First advantage is when you run the mission, it actually slows the drone down completely to a stop before each action is taken. By doing that, this gives us the option to do a lot more. Anything such as auto exposure bracketing now becomes available. So if you go into a map, for example, where you previously had the option to take a single photo, now you can add AEB. The other option that we have is that you can run scripts. This isn't something I do particularly, but if you're good with JavaScript, you can actually write code that goes in here and that code is executed at each inspection point. That's a much more advanced feature, certainly not something I'm going to be going into here. So I'm going to go outside and we're going to run this and we're going to use AEB, auto exposure bracketing, to capture a picture that's going to be much sharper and much nicer. So here we are, flying the two missions side by side. The mission on the left is showing the standard mapping, and the mission on the right is showing the inspection mapping. As you can see, the mission on the right pans up as it moves forward, then pans down, comes to a stop, and then takes whatever action we've set, in this case, auto exposure bracketing photos. Once again, I'll show the two photos side by side. And as you can see, the inspection mapping photo is much sharper. But since it's auto exposure bracketing and I've merged three photos into one, you actually get much nicer colors as well. Where inspection really comes into its own, however, is on more complicated things such as writing scripts to cause the gimbal to pan up to different angles for 3D mapping. And in those cases, this is a really advanced but really powerful feature. Another advantage to inspection is that you're not limited to just using it for maps. As you can see from this conversion here, I've added an orbit, taking photos, looking into the center. You could use orbits, paths, anything that takes photos can be converted into an inspection mission. Anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you found that useful. As always, I love to hear your comments, so feel free to leave a comment or a question, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.